Go. How do I look? Do I look alright? Yeah. Are you sure? <laughs> I'm recording it, you idiot. I don't look Chinese or Japanese <laughs> or anything like that. Dude, I'm recording it. Well, I mean, I could look like a black person right on the camera. What you might see is something different than what the audience might see. Dude, I'm recording it. Oh, I know you're recording. I see the red light. I just want to know what, how I look. You look like an American idiot. Well, there you go. I feel happy now. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? I probably wonder who the hell is uh, doing the camera stuff tonight. It's not my little TV stand over here. Thank God. It's my good friend, John. Well, I'm not going to show my face because I got beat up almost. Yeah, I kicked his ass, you know, because he, he wouldn't be my bitch. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. A little uh, sick humor goes a long way. Hey, I heard a joke uh, today at work. This robber tried to come in to, and, and uh, steal money out of the till, you know, money out of the store. Yep. And the uh, clerk asked, uh, oh, no, the, the robber said, uh, give me all your money, you know, out of the till. And the clerk says, do you like paper or plastic? <laughs> <laughs> Is that funny? I mean, yeah, that kind of. Instant rim shot there. <laughs> well, anyway, well, on day number 84 of these daily summer vlogs, I got another package. But this time, it's a package that I did not pay for you know, or did not order. It's something that came from a friend of mine. Uh, his name is Damon Packard. And if you don't know who he is, he's a director. And a guy who mostly is just an independent director. He hasn't really done. I mean, he's it's not somebody that you would know, you know, like a Steven Spielberg or whatever. But hopefully one day, you never know. Uh, but what happened was about a month and a half ago, I we were chatting online on Facebook, and he was looking for some new speakers. And uh, we've never met before. He's he's from Los Angeles. I'm from Greenbush here. <laughs> Big difference between Los Angeles and Greenbush, I'm sure. Yeah. God will tell you. <laughs> they got a lot of casinos there, and we got only one, and that's in by Thief River. I'm talking what's the difference between Los oh, Angeles and Greenbush? Bigger people. Bigger places. Well, it's more to do over there. Yeah, you can What's find What's there to do over here? Chase girls. Girls with squirrels? Anyway. <laughs> Damn it, dudes and dudettes. Yeah, very funny. Anyway, because uh, his speakers that he had before broke or something like that or whatever cheap speakers they had so he said he was looking for some speakers and I was like well I could I could buy it for you it's not a big deal so I looked at what the web page and looked at how much it costs and it didn't cost that much so I said oh, I'll buy it for you no big deal and it's like well Frankie I don't expect you to do anything for nothing you know do something for nothing so he said well why don't you in return since you're buying me the speakers why don't you pick out some DVDs that I have in my you know in my little uh, on my website that normally I charge people for or whatever. He's into a lot of rare stuff, you know, like oh, like how I'm into a lot of rare stuff. Well, he's into a lot of rare stuff, like the 70s and 80s, and you know, like a lot of B B side stuff, or whatever. Anyway, so it took a little while because I know he's kind of broken and whatnot. I hate to say that about the guy, but I know he's going through some rough times or whatever. Uh, but yeah, I finally got the package from him anyway. So we're finally going to see if he got my order correct, <laughs> and uh, hopefully uh, everything's in here. He told yep. me here a few days ago that it, he, that it was shipped, so all the way from Los Angeles, or actually Glendale, California, but Los Angeles, nevertheless, anyway. So he made me a, a copy of uh, some of the films, anyway, that I was looking for. Uh, I got Maximum Overdrive, 1986. Now, I don't know if it's the same one that I have already on DVD already, but it might be. We'll see. Terror on the Beach. I think that's what I got. Yeah, that's what I got. Uh, Bad Ronald. You ever heard that one before, John? Nope, unless you have it. I don't have it. It's and I never heard of, heard of it. It just came on DVD not too long ago. It's one of those rare, I think it's from the 70s, I think. And it's like, you know, this guy who uh, is kind of a psychopath. Living, living in his old house or whatever, but some other people live in his house. And, yeah. Like some of the people around here? Kind of like, yeah. People pretty much be like that. Uh, mm. Then I got uh, 
run, Simon run. I don't know what that's about, but it looked pretty good. And then, uh, Damnation Alley. So, some of these I've never heard of, but I, I remember picking these out. A lot of these, especially Bad Rattle, because uh, Sean Phillips, or, you know, Cool Dude, was the first one to mention about, you know, Bad Rattle and all that stuff. And, uh, you know, this kind of goes along with uh, John's uncle. You know? But John's uncle isn't Bad Rattle. John's uncle is Funny Rattle. Yeah, <laughs> one day we'll get him on this camera and he'll do jokes. <laughs> yeah, you know, the dictator. and not, Nothing better than the dictator here. <laughs> and the door sounds a dog. Well, anyway, so now I'll take the camera since you know looks pretty good anyway. And and, and, and uh, here, here's here's John here the camera guy. <laughs> and he flinched. Oh, I always flinch. Yeah, Look at that handsome me. devil. Huh? Yeah, I had a mohawk, but Grandpa shaved it off like usual. He shaved it off. That's what she said. Anyway. <laughs> well, she said it was too hard. <laughs> so anyway, so that's the video for today. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, please. Let me know your comments. And thank you, David, for sending me that package. And if any girls are free, ask him out, please. <laughs> well, you have to be a certain age, see. 18 or older. Well, 16 right. for me, please. But you can't be like, you know, like maybe 80 years old and still have your dentures. Or whatever, <laughs> you know? I you just, can, you can. You'd be like Mae Young, you know. <laughs> Mae Young would be perfect for you, John. No, that's your girlfriend, dude. I'm, you know, she's, I'm into 16-year-olds, the same age as me. Yeah, but is that considered like rape nowadays? How is it rape the same age? But you're still kids, so. though. I'm a teenager, you idiot. Yeah, but compared to me, uh, you're a kid. Uh, you're more of a kid than me. <laughs> why? Why you figure that, huh? Why you? Why you say that? Cause I kick your butt in every other thing we do. No, no, no. Why? Why, to... why you say I'm a kid? Cause you act like it. There has to be other reasons why I act like a, uh, like you say I'm a kid. I just look at you. <laughs> you got peach fuzz. Me, I'm growing no, a beard. No, 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 no. There has to be other reasons why. I mean, just Let's look around. see. What can I you know, start? Maybe look around, that? maybe, and just kind of figure, hey, you know, I feel like I'm at Pee Wee's Playhouse or something. Huh? I am. There's a lot of kid <laughs> movies here. <laughs> well, SpongeBob, you gotta look. You, you got to look outside the box here. We're not even in a box, but, you know, like, think about it. Like, look all around you, you know. Would it just be a more of a grown-up's place? There you go, you finally got it. Yeah, Took you a little while. Holy crap. Yeah, hey, uh, who got more girls than you now? I've never seen you. I've only seen you with one girl. And, and I had to uh, do a run today. That's and and you went run around with her. Me, you know, I've been with one. No, I've been with a few, I guess, but only one that's, you know. My sisters don't count. I've never been with your sister. <laughs> that's not what she said. I don't know who your sister is. It's a joke, you idiot. Oh, see, it took me a little while to pick that one up, huh? <laughs> if you're 18 to 24, please give him a call. Yeah. Please. And I'll give him your uncle's number. <laughs> you might want to turn the camera off before I kick your butt. Well, we're having fun now. See, we did the, the little review and whatnot. We did the DVD thing. Yep. Now we're just chatting up the storm now. Yeah. Uh, I just can't wait till football starts again. Really? This year's defensive end and nose guard. And so, seven. is that good?